while many of us choose to stream on YouTube, it's hard to argue that Twitch doesn't have superior viewer engagement tools, right? We've got channel points or deems, the sound alerts, the various other extensions. It's quite a nice platform for getting your viewers directly engaged with your streams. Now, fortunately, with a little bit of effort and a particularly robust chatbot, you can bring a lot of those features to YouTube. And so that's what we're going to be talking about today. So I'm going to show you uh, with Mix It Up Bot the steps you can take to get channel points, sound alerts, and a variety of other commands involved in your YouTube streams so that you can get your viewers engaged there just like you could in Twitch. Now, let's go. Okay, so what we're talking about is how do you get specifically Mix It Up Bot to give you channel points and redeems similar to what you might have on Twitch. Uh, there are other bots that can do this sort of thing, uh, but Mix It Up Bot was what I ended up using, and it has done really well. Uh, it's got a lot of integrations. It's pretty easy to work with, so I don't see any particular reason to jump to another one unless, like, you also know more about that thing and it's going to do something specific that you want. Um... So getting, getting Mix It Up initially set up is pretty much just the process of setting up a profile on it. There are easy to follow like Mix It Up tutorials or there might even be a setup wizard that Mix It Up has that gets you to that point. So I'm not going to cover that. You know, this is assuming you have your Mix It Up set up with a profile tied to your streaming YouTube account. Because I, I, I've done that thing. Um, optionally, you can also add a second account, which becomes your bot account, which for me is Chatbit. Um, I have that second account that sort of operates as the mouth of Mix It Up. And I would generally encourage kind of anybody using Mix It Up for YouTube to go ahead and do that, because making a YouTube account is easy like you just make a secondary brand account tied to your youtube account and then you can sign it in as the bot account you can give it a name you can give it a profile picture on brand and all of that and you just make it a mod and then you know you're good to go you've got your extra dude to sort of spice up the channel have a little bit of personality whatever be your bot guy um so once you're there the obvious first step is you need a currency. Uh, currency is the term that's going to be used for like channel points. Channel points are a form of currency. So in the side menu here of Mix It Up, you can see there's this currency tab. Uh, currencies can do more things than simply being channel points. You can see I have two. I have quantum packets, which are my channel points. They are, um, you know, earned over time, as you would expect out of uh, a channel point. And then void orbs are my other currency, which is earned only by use of certain commands, a daily command. So you can do more with those currencies than, you know, just channel points, but we'll just focus on channel points. So you go to add a currency and here is all of the various things, you know, to get a currency set up. So this will be uh, tutorial coins is going to be, you know, this one. And so max amount you can set if there is a, a peak to how many they can have. You can just leave it to zero as um, for, you know, infinite, essentially. Here's the acqu acquisition rate while an individual is online. So this is the sort of first piece of setting up a channel point economy. Um, I believe that... In the case of Twitch, I believe Twitch does it. You can so you, you see you have some pre uh, made options here, like one per minute, one per hour, uh, one per bit only works on Twitch or uh, disabled, and obviously then custom. So custom, I believe Twitch does it at about ten points per ten minutes, possibly. I'm not sure what frequency of acquisition they have but they they disperse them in amounts of 10 um and so this is sort of like 
one per one minute. However, because of the bonuses, uh, I find it more useful to to do this in the form of uh, like larger number per larger set of minutes because these are like a points per disbursement bonus. So if we say the regular bonus is two, that means that a regular will receive 12 every 10 minutes. And if you were doing one per minute, then the only thing you could do as a bonus is like at minimum double the acquisition rate, which might be a little bit more than what, what you really want to do. So something like this is just sort of a reasonable way to start. Um, so the other bonuses you can see here is there's sub bonuses, mod bonuses, and then there's event bonuses for things like on follow, on host, or on subscribe. So come back here, you. Um, so the thing about some of these is that mix it up bot was sort of first made to work with Twitch. So a lot of these terminology are Twitch terminologies. The on subscribe and sub bonuses do work for um, YouTube subscribes. However, YouTube handles subscriptions very weirdly as far as visibility into whether someone has subscribed or is a subscriber. There's a bunch of complicated, weird, like, combinations of settings uh, behind the scenes for YouTube, both from the channel perspective and the actual individual viewer perspective that have to be in alignment in order for their subscriptions to be visible and known. So I don't typically rely on those. I use the regular bonus primarily, and then I'll maybe put a sub bonus in there just because just in case they have their subs visible, then hooray, it kind of works. Um, but I lean on the regulars a little bit more because regulars is a setting in Mix It Up that you can assign how much time it takes for someone to become a regular viewer. So like after 10 hours of views, they are considered a regular and then they are uh, they get the regular bonus. So that's I lean on the regulars more, but that's all... Uh, nitty gritty specifics um, of getting your economy the way you want. Ultimately, you know, you can just use a basic disbursement of amount per minutes, and then you're you you've got channel points functioning. Um, <clears throat> then these other settings down here, are things like minimum channel activity. So if you want somebody to have to be here for some period of time before they start getting any points, you can set that up. And then automatic resets are essentially to say, you know, in some period of time, everybody goes back to zero and it's like a, a a temporary point accrual system, which, you know, maybe some currencies you want it to be done that way. Maybe you want redeems only be to work for the stream that they're there, but they earn points real fast. And then, you know, whatever. You can do all that stuff. Once you're done here, you simply save it. Uh, this is asking if you want some basic commands to be uh, made for you. Here, I'll zoom in. Uh, thing, the basic uh, control of those coins or currencies for the commands to just be automatically generated. There's no harm in having those automatically generated, so sure. Uh, and so now you have channel points that will happen and go to people. So this is this is the first step, and now we have to actually do all of the things that sort of Twitch does for you. That's kind of the annoying bit. All of the little things that you have to keep in mind to get this sort of not only functional, but actually useful on YouTube is now where we have to go. We gotta start essentially telling people that they can use these currencies because the main benefit Twitch has, of course, is an interface that shows this to users in an automatic sense. YouTube doesn't have any kind of interface that's showing people that these exist, so you have to use the one tool you have, which is chat. Uh, and so for that, I think it's useful to set up um, timers for one. Timers are your basic one. So here you can see timers. 
So timers are going to be very valuable. You can see I have the two timers. And you can see here uh, on the timer, you can say how many intervals, or rather at what interval this is going to get messaged out. You can give it a name. And then this is what happens for this timer because timers are broad functions that happen at a loop. Mix it up is very powerful, but we're just kind of talking specifically about the channel points. And so what mine does is every 30 minutes, it sends out a message that says, you know, this channel has channel points. And then you can use this command to get more details, essentially. And I think that's kind of the baseline timer that you need to run so that people in chat can see that this is something that exists and that they can then interact with it more. Uh, another step that you need is going to be not, you don't need this one. I think it's useful. An event is another way to sort of trigger a command. Uh, and so under YouTube, you can set something up for what happens when the stream starts, which is another place that I have chat messages around, you know, hey, channel points are active, they're working, they're they're doing their thing you know here's how you interact with them so essentially for my streams you'll see information about the channel points right as stream starts and then you'll see them every 30 minutes thereafter and i think that's a reasonable setup to keep people aware that channel points are an option um <clears throat> now in those informational timers, you will have seen that it had some commands to get more information. Now that's the next step of the process, which is handling the commands to interact with the channel point economy. Uh, and so now we'll actually go to commands here, uh, and we'll go into the details of the commands and how you set these commands up are essentially the exact same way that you would set up those timers as far as like interacting with the the dialogue uh so this information can kind of be transposed onto onto that so you can see i have a group here that i call information um the grouping is manual like you you can tie things to groups as you wish uh but for our for our new tutorial coins which we should have automatically generated yeah some of them so some of them down here have been automatically generated so we got like add all tutorial coins add coins give coins uh check user coins things like that those were automatically generated those are the ones that are automatically generated those are kind of like the the user coins might be a yes so the user coins is the one that is sort of most relevant the other ones are kind of mod controls if you need so you can add them and and potentially add another one to remove them but this user to tutorial coins is essentially the command to check hey i'm a user how many coins do i have uh and so you can come in here and you can see how it's set up this is the trigger that is sent by any user so you can see here that's like chat triggers there's no exclamation part needed space separated semicolon for multi-word because we've got this checked for auto include exclamation mark so exclamation tutorial coins in the chat will check how many tutorial coins a user has uh and so when that command is sent a chat message is responded and then it's username has uh blank tutorial coins so this is the way the uh some of the the message variables that can be used so it's you know at dollar sign username will be the username of the person who used the command then dollar sign user tutorial coins is how you depict the number of that person's tutorial coins and so that'll show that so that's kind of step one However, that's not the only thing because now we have a way for them to generate coins. Now we have a way for them to check how many coins they have, but we don't actually have anything for them to spend the coins on 
nor do we have a way to communicate to them what those things they can use coins on are. Uh, as far as using the coins, Mix It Up is extremely robust and has a lot of options for what you can actually do with channel points. Uh, you can do simple things like you would in Twitch, things like, you know, a hydrate redeem where all you do is respond in chat and say, hey, you know, so-and-so redeemed hydrate, right? That's, a, that's very similar to what Twitch would have. Just so-and-so used hydrate and then you'd see it in chat and you'd be like, oh, hey, okay, I'll take a drink. Um, but Mix It Up also can be used to interact with many other things. Uh, it can control OBS through um, the, the WebSocket. So you can do things like turn on and off filters, turn on and off um, sources. You can switch scenes. You can do all of that stuff. And so, you know, automatic control of things like that are some great redeems, right? Redeems that are going to add add images, add run a video, do any of that stuff, all possible. Uh, it can control VTube Studio. Uh, it can control Twitch integrated throwing system. It can uh, control, you have to jump through a few hoops, but you can get it to work with uh, Vignon. That's how most of my redeems function is through that. Um, and a bunch of other stuff. There's a whole, uh, bu bu bu, is it services? That's the integrations. Yeah, so you can see OBS Studio, um, <clears throat> Just Giving is probably a donation based thing, uh, Stream Labs, Stream Loots, Stream Elements. Uh, you can trigger things with the Stream Deck, Treat Stream. So all of this stuff can be automated. Oh, I'm zoomed in. Automated through mix it up and thus commands that are within the channel point economy so all of that perfect uh other things also you can make sound alerts work which is very beneficial uh i like my sound alerts through the way of in the commands let's just go ahead and get to a new command so in the new commands these are all of the actions that you can have a command do uh, also there can be conditionals and you can make these very, very complicated. But as far as just like simple redeems, right, you can make it play a sound. You can have it do a text to speech. You can do a Twitch integrated throwing. You can go to VTube studio, you can go to voice mod. So you can, you can do things in lots of ways with these commands. And so let's let's go through and set up a simple hydrate command. Cuz that's, you know, I feel like that's everybody's first Twitch redeem, right? Hydrate. So, we name it, we give it a exclamation mark, I'll make that lowercase h cuz I don't know if it matters. Uh name, this is the command that gets used. And then this button here is a currency requirement. So that's that's what we'll use. We select our currency, tutorial coins, and now we can say we want it to be a required amount. And then how many? So this is where we get into the complicated stuff of trying to set up your economy effectively. It's not terribly different from... Uh, making sure that your redeem costs the things that you might want them to so that they're getting used as frequently as you want them to but they're not happening too often with in this case the added challenge that you also control how quickly they get the coins or channel points so keep that in mind but for this you know they're getting one every minute it's just hydrate so you know we can make it 20 20 points so now it has that requirement. You can add a cooldown with this button here. You can make that standard, which means, you know, once the command's used, nobody gets to use it for a certain amount of time. You can make it per person so that each person can use it as often as you put in. And then you can say group, 
which if you have it tied up here into the command group, um, or rather, actually, no, you get you make a new uh, cooldown like group name, and so it when used, all of the ones in that group go on cooldown and can't be used until uh, the time comes back up. So we'll just say standard. We'll just make this, uh, you know, 300 seconds. You get, you can have one, one hydrate every five minutes, so people aren't going wild. All right. Now, we need to then make it do something, because right now, it will not do anything. It will happen. It will check the points. It will use the points, and it will go on cooldown, and nothing will happen, because that's kind of the by default. So what do we do? We give it an action. And in that action for hydrate, all we really need is a chat, chat message. So we hit the plus to add it to the line. So we can then just say, uh, you know, username has redeemed hydrate. Take that drink. And you know, that's the chat message. Now, if we wanted to, you know, add anything else, like maybe we wanted, you know, a Twitch integrated throwing, it's not connected, so it's not gonna work, but you know, you could throw an item, maybe you've got a drink item that you're throwing, and this is how it is. Now, when you have more than one, uh, you know, action within the command, it's going to run top to bottom. So first it will chat, then it will throw. So you can use that, of course, if you want multiple chats or anything, you know, that's how you order it. You can also add in a wait. So if you want, you know, the chat to show up and then it to wait and for then it to do this, you know, that's how you would do that. But we'll just remove these because all we need is the chat message. So from there, you just save it and that's done you can see that message here hydrate <clears throat> and so now we have an actual thing to use our channel points with so we get to the sort of last step in the chain which as i mentioned was making sure you have a way to communicate to your viewers I, my face is frozen for some reason that you have a way to communicate to your viewers um, what are the commands at hand? What what can they do? What's available? And so for that, we can just use tutorial redeems. We'll call this tutorial redeems. Um, and then that command would be like toot redeems. And so when this is sent, this is this is free. We don't have to charge for that one. We do want to put a cooldown on this, though, because uh, we don't want people to just constantly spam this into chat. And we can just have a chat message. And this says, you know, currently available redeems are hydrate. Unfortunately, as far as I have seen, there is no way to sort of automate a list like this. I don't, I haven't come across any way to just be like, hey, grab all of the redeems in this group or whatever. I, I haven't looked that hard. Maybe it's an option, but I'm not adding so many redeems that it's been a burden to just come in here and update this. Um, and so now we have a chat message that will communicate the, the redeems that are available. We can save that. And so then in our timers, right? So let's let's go back to our timers. Let's let's close the loop every 30 minutes uh, with a minimum of 10 messages so it also doesn't cram too frequently. Make a new command. Um two coins uh message. So every 30 minutes. What does it do? It sends a chat message. And in that 
message, it says, um, you know, we're, this channel has toot coins. Tutor I guess I could not shorten it every time. It has tutorial coins. If you want to see what you can do, use command, uh, toot redeems. And that's that. So with that, what we have is we have them gaining coins. We have a timer message so that every 30 minutes they'll know how to find out the redeems. We have the redeem command so that they can find out what they can actually do. And then we have those redeems set up in the form of hydrate. So that's the, the barest simple start of the setup. From there, obviously, you can expand tremendously. You can add all of the redeems you want. You can add more than one currency if you want to make it more complicated. Uh, you can add other sorts of timers, setups. You know, you can put restrictions on things. You can add the bonuses. So that's the basics of how to get your redeems running on YouTube like you could on Twitch. It's not perfect. Uh, I do miss the nice, convenient interface for people to see it, but unfortunately, we just have to work with what we've got. So, that's that. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk.